fishyacker.com the original kayak rigging video series hey guys welcome back to fishyacker.com i'm john i'm joined again with my good buddy from virginia jeff singleton he's going to talk a little about his trailer project he spent the entire day on in his driveway working on it's a cool little project people for years have been talking about you know improvising a harbor freight trailer well here's what he's working on jeff take it away Hey, what's going on? So actually, let's correct that. And I spent two days doing this. <laughs> One day I assembled the actual trailer because Harbor Freight isn't going to assemble it for you. It comes in boxes. And by the way, if you're going to do it, have patience and take your time because the parts are not labeled. So you have to figure out what which part is what. Look closely at the pictures. So like doing so, puzzles. <laughs> so let me walk back. There's what I did, and I'll kind of come closer so you can see. I, I assembled the trailer. This is the 4x8 uh, utility trailer folding. It has, if you notice back here, it's got casters. So I can actually pull a couple bolts, fold it up, and tuck it away in the garage. Cool. Um, so after I assembled it, I put the, the, the uh, crank on the front. The rest of it came with the, with the trailer. Um, I, I went ahead and built the, the fence to go around it. Um, if you notice, if you can see right here, I don't know if it shows it clear, but you can see a cut. Apparently, their 2x4 bracket isn't wide enough for a 2x4, so you have to shave a little bit off nice. to get the 2x4 down in there. And then I just bolted the fence together, and then you know, I searched and searched for a good, sturdy way to, uh, to do this, and... I ended up seeing somebody who used Unistrut, which is used in electrical contracting. Um, so I just went ahead and bought some Unistrut and cut it down. And you can see I just bolted it all together. And I used the bolts for the fence to hold the uprights onto the fence itself, put the crossbars in, and then front to back supports. And that's it. Like I said, it took me a total of about two days. Two ninety nine for the trailer, twenty six ninety nine for the crank on the front, forty nine ninety nine for a spare tire that I've got tucked away in the garage, and then probably another two hundred dollars worth of uh, lumber in Unistrut. So you know, all in all, I have a custom built kayak trailer that'll haul all four of my kayaks and then some, and camping gear and everything else. You know, for what five hundred bucks. That's cool. So scroll to go go down to the trailer itself. How big are the wheels on it? Oh, they are uh, twelve inch wheels. So it's not the little itty bitty eight inch wheels that, that you can hear all the traffic going by. It's 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 everybody's coming home from work right now. <laughs> um, uh, it's not the little eight inch wheels you have to worry about burning up as, at at highway speeds. How solid are the bars on it now? The Unistrut. Yeah, let's see if I can do this. That the whole trailer shaking when I do that, not just the, not just the uh, rail. I wish I'd had time to uh, to get some kayaks up on it for you, so I could show you my loadout. I figure I'm going to have two different loadouts. The two big kayaks can go down here on their go down on the low bar on their sides, um, and then if you notice, the top bar is actually a little bit longer. Um, I I should be able to get both both uh, big kayaks up there and then stra uh, strap in the, the boys, smaller ones, in the bottom. And the way the diameter is on the, the size of the bars, too, you can put J, J cradles or yep. saddles on it, too. Yeah, it's, I, it's, it's got a lot of potential. The only thing I really have left to do to get this done is go buy some pool, pool noodles from the dollar store, yeah. slice them open, and uh, put some padding around these crossbars. How about, uh, the, will it rust, or what's the material made of in that? You know what? I don't know, but uh, Krylon takes care of that, right? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Hold it. Um, one other thing I'm going to do, I have some I have some leftover Unistrut. Um, I'm going to figure out a way to bolt that in and give myself some strap points so I can connect in some 4-inch PVC for rod storage and other stuff. That's so, nice. yeah, it's going to be it's going to be good. And look, finally, 
blue sky. We haven't. I haven't seen that all day. It's been cloudy and threatened and rain. <laughs> well, it's been raining here. Yeah, like done today. working, and we get the uh, right in time for me to mow that nasty front yard you see in the background. What yard? Yeah, what yard? <laughs> but uh, but yeah, no, it's been a lot of work. I can't wait to uh, to get it out there. It'll make it'll make getting out a lot easier. I'm gonna clean out one side of the garage, put this in there, and. At least, at least my predator is going to be on this at all times. So all I have to do is pick up and go, back up, hook the trailer up, and depart. Zoom back and let's see the the full shot of it again. Yep. So it's so it's a folding trailer. So where is the fold point on it? Okay, so if you look right here, can you see that? Yeah. That's the hinge. So um, it's it's right in at the front at the front of the tire here. Um, like I said, there's a total of there's a total of six bolts I have to take out, and then the tongue itself actually uh, the tongue itself right down here actually folds, so you can fold it down as well. And now the mailman is here delivering boxes of good stuff. Oh, it's fine. The kayak fishing accessories. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, how about how about maximum speed on the trailer? Is there a posted max speed or anything it on it? It says, um, I think it says on the. I don't think it says it on the trailer. There's the. Yeah, it doesn't say it on the trailer. It says 1195 load capacity, capacity foldable utility trailer, manufactured by some com company I can't pronounce in China. Um, yeah, it doesn't say, but I do know the spare tire I bought says, uh, 55. Cool. But I guarantee it'll do 70. You'll, you'll find out. Yeah. That's why I have a spare tire. Maybe I should get some spare bearings too. There's <laughs> <laughs> some bearing buddies on it. But I mean, that, that's the thing. I mean, people people talk all the time about going to Harbor Freight and getting one of these kit trailers, and there's not a whole lot out there on the web about people that have actually done it. So as yeah, soon as you, you know, said you were doing it, you had all these photos yeah. earlier. I thought, heck, we'll just talk about it real quick. Yeah, it's really I, like I said. It wasn't once I figured out the the plan I was going to use. It it wasn't that difficult. I kind of, I, of course, you know, you steal everything from somebody's picture on the internet these days, and it was a combination of stolen stuff. Yeah. So the using the uh, using the uh, Unistrut was someone else's idea, but their 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 plan scared me because they didn't put this crossbar front to back in, so it was just an upright in the front and an upright in the back. Singing. Yeah. I could see that causing some serious issues going down the road. Um, I may, I may turn around and get one more piece and uh, and box it in with Unistrut as opposed to just that top bar. But I figured with the with the fence, it would it would hold it front to back on the bottom with the fence part and on the top with the crossbar. That's cool. That's and good. You, just, well, you know, any other comments on it? Thoughts? What do you think so far of it? Do you think it's going to hold up? You know, do you recommend I, others? Yeah, I think it's 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 going to do the job. You know, I'll hit me up in uh, October after I haul it down to Louisiana with at least three kayaks on it uh, to the boondoggle. So we'll do it and, before and, and after. I'll let you know. <laughs> cool. Well, they're hitting the vacuum in there again. You know, like I said we got company coming over for dinner. But, uh, Jeff, thanks for coming on again. Everybody, please subscribe to Fish Yacker on YouTube. Like us on Facebook. Check out Harbor Freight for these trailers. Uh, comment down below. Uh, friend request Jeff and ask him questions on Facebook. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the water. Later. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs>